I am the Mignolo. I am the owner and the founder of uh, Agape Kokadamas. And um, this video is to explain why this uh, Agape Kokadamas shell or planter is an uh, invention. If we successfully patented, I thought I could go for mass production and would be able to create a lot of jobs and uh, the material I use are so-called uh, eco-friendly. I, I use the core as a garden soil and the core is a bacteria free and uh, is uh, eco-friendly uh, is uh, indoor friendly as well and the second material I use is the segment moss and the third material I use is the jute twine the unique feature of my product is that I somehow managed to reverse the traditional way or the conventional way of making kokadamas, which make it so simple and easy and also able to reproduce even by uh, anyone who know the secret way or my way of doing it. I, as a matter of contrast, maybe I explain a little bit of the traditional way. The traditional way of making kokadama is that the first step you need to mix the soil uh, with the peat moss to make it sticky so you can uh, make form it into a ball after you form into a ball you need to take out the plant from the pots and then you need to take away the soil and need to wrap it wrap the root parts of the of the plant with the segment moss and then you break up the ball, you put the plant inside, and then you form back the ball. And after you form the ball with the plant, you need to wrap it with the segment moss. And that is very difficult. And after you wrap it with the segment moss, you need to twine, twine it, to tighten it into this kokadama like that and because you need to twine it the end result of the conventional kokadama is that there is no room there is no crater up there it's all tied up and also the base is is not flat so the only way for you to water the kokadama is by dumping it into the water to soak it and when you take it out you know water dripping here and there and then after six months or few months you don't know, know this one is the conventional one the old way of making kokadama is that it become moldy it lost the original beauty and also because it's moldy and for a while the twine you know start to you know deteriorate and uh, become bad and easily broken and my way is to start is to is by using this mold a shift I buy a shift and I put a cloth in it and then I start the first pot, the first step by putting the segment moss into the mold. 
so you can see that look this is the reverse way I put the moss put the segment moss first at the outer layer I finish the outer layer with the segment moss very quickly just put the segment moss and after that I put the segment moss I I put the coconut core I put the coconut core Put the coconut core here. Okay, after I finish the cook, uh, sorry, I put the, after I put the segment moss, and then I put the coconut core, the protective layer. Uh, and I, so I put the coconut core. The whole thing is solid. Is coconut core. Is there is, and the coconut core, as I mentioned just now, is eco friendly. And I also discover and have tested so many many times in the past years at least I tried it for two years and one of my kokadamas is more than two years old and uh, I, I, I try every any kind of plant with this coconut core and all of them survive not, not just survive but survive very very well so I finally, I am so convinced that coconut coal uh, is the best soil, best substitute for soil for coconut for making kokadama. So uh, in the past uh, couple of years, I only used coconut coal to replace, you know, to simplify the so-called the mixture of of the soil with a peat moss and uh, to make it sticky I, I cut away that process I simply straight away you know, I, I just use coconut coal to replace and uh, to simplify and uh, every single plant will survive with the coconut coal so this is my secret so I place a pot in the center and then I uh, I put all the, you know the is all coconut coal inside and then now I I put the segment moss and to wrap up the bowl with the pot in the center and then later on I will explain why this is a new invention and so I put the segment moss Put the second moss. Okay. So find up the best second moss. I wrap it up. So anyone, anyone who knows the secret, they can do it. And the best thing is that if this is become a patent, then I can train so many people. To do this, and as, as a mass production, I can provide a lot of jobs, a lot of odd jobs, or anyone who like to earn some pocket money. You know, or they are unemployed and they are looking for some kind of a part-time job, and they are most welcome to join me in this production. I can give them, you know, if you do one, I will give you so much. And if you ten, you pay some pay just pay by item, and uh, they can come at any time, and they can make a few, and then they can go back and uh, get some pocket money out of it. And also, there is a very creative thing for them to do. And so the next step is I take out the cloth, and then I wrap it with the. The soul, you know, the soul you thread, and okay, secure them nicely. You know, anyone can do this, but if I were to reveal the secret, then everyone can do the same thing and end up out of business. So, uh, so this is the next step I do is to secure the ball, 
to secure the segment moss to ready to make it ready for the next step. And you can see that you know this is the unconventional way of making kokadana because and by doing this without the plan I can make it much easier and then later on I explain the another feature so I'll turn it back from there okay I will continue the upper part continue the upper part Okay, you know my grandchildren are here. Okay, so my wife also uh, instructing the grandchildren. It's okay, it's okay. No worry, if you are here, it's okay. No, no disturbance. I just taking a video. That's all to explain how I do this, so you can play, but you're not talking too loud. Okay, the Gong is doing a video here. So uh, to just to explain, you know, why this is a new invention. Okay, now the next step is this. I will, I will continue the process despite the you know, my grandchildren are here. It's okay. Yes, so uh, I, will, I, will, I will now I will twine, twine the, the kokadama. Mom, since you are here, can you go and get a money plant for me? Just get one money plant. Anyone. You just get one money plan. Thank you. Okay, now I twine the, uh, the kokadama shell. That's sad. Yes, how are you? Can you see the video there? Kong Kong is making a video. This one. Yes, later on. Okay, just put it there. Thank you. So this is the, it's my, the sample. On me. Later on, it's I will on come me. to that one. It's on me. It's on me. So now I just twine. This one. This one. The, this one. the agape kokadama shell, or maybe I will call it planter. I'm still not sure yet, but um, the purpose of this uh, video presentation is to explain to you why this is the so-called the new invention. So I tighten it the usual way, but uh, the key feature is that without the plant in there, and by just put a port as a reserve to create the room or the plane. The sword. Okay. Next step, then you can see the base. But later on, I show you how beautiful the base is. Then I will train people to make it this way. So it's the secret become review. You know, everyone is going to copycat. And then uh, just to know what to do with them. So I thought you could. Uh, Pattern this, then I can 
one of sheep. Oh, I said me. This one. Grand people. Come here, Eden. This way of making kokadama. This one, this one. You tip it, you see, you tip it, it's all wet, it's no more. Tip it here. You don't need to tip it. It don't go up after tip it. Tip it over and then over. So basically, yeah, now this way of making kokadama. The, it's very, it's not, the, it depends on how you, you, you vary the time. But normally, if you, are, you practice and you are skillful enough, uh, you know the process well, you know how to do them, and uh, basically, you can do one uh, this size about uh, 15 minutes. 15 minutes. So in one hour, in be able to make, make four. And the, the workmanship for one, I be more than ready to give ten dollars. Maybe five dollars for one. So the work. Provide the material, and the material is about uh, uh, maybe five dollars. And then put in the market, the overhead, and uh, everything in five dollars out of the whole thing. Go in. They're not doing outside Go inside. 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 Go I have the, the knot and then I show you the key feature of my kokadama. It's okay. You are very good in blowing the bubble. You see, you are so good now. You are so good in blowing the bubble. Okay. Now this is the, the how it's a, how it, how this look like. But this is a final product. And the key feature of my final product is I have this shell here, the planter, like the pot inside. Here. And it's all coconut core inside to allow you know later on I explain a little bit further. But the, also the base, the base is very very flat. You know, place anyway compared to the co conventional one, <laughs> but this one is very really stable, and so I will give detailed instruction to anyone, to the person who buy the plant, to this planter or the shell. That this is the way you can plant your plant. You know, I will give instruction. You just simply pop, pop this in. And take away the extra soil. Press them down. Careful.
hopefully you know get he and I will, of course it's just a demonstration but you can see from this demonstration that the key feature of my product is you know after you plant them normally I use a cloth to protect the site Instruct them, you know, to put a cloth around and they put the soil in. So not to dirty the whole thing. Yes, yes. It's so easy now. Yeah, just put that in there. Yes, put in more soil. It's uh, coconut coal. Papa, I said clean the ground. Okay. Lovely. It's okay now. Beautiful now. Beautiful. Beautiful now. Everyone can do this, okay? So you can see that you know the final product. There is a, a crater on top. There is a crater. The crater on top. And also, uh, I plant the plant last. So I'll, the, the the root parts of the plant will not be hurt in the process of of, of uh, twining the, the, the kokagama and so the the root you know is very very loose the, the soil and um, so is is really friendly to the to the to the plant in the process of making it and also that uh, because it's all core surround this new this 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 plant they can continue to grow their root can continue to grow inside the kokadama and although this feature is is a, is a great contrast to uh, to those in the market like the burning one they just put the core the 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 the, 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 the outer shell without any soil but in, they, they they stuck the the plastic pot inside and with the plant inside the plastic pot that is the burning kokadama and uh, the other version is made in china and uh, they use the artificial thing to make it look like a kokadama and then of course they got the, the, the hole in there and then they put the plant inside but then the roots can't grow can't grow outside but here this one and uh, you can water from here because there is a crater and because it's so flat it's so stable and so this is my new invention any newcomer any new uh, anyone who don't know how to make kokadama but they love kokadama they can buy the shell for me and then they can plant the plant and then become a real kokadama so this is uh, the product I thought is worth to be patented. Thank you.